with John and Ollie from Tier 1 again today. And what we're going to cover today is our second common error when people squat, and that is sitting back. So when people squat and they sit back, Ollie, show that side, show where that is. When your hips are going back and we don't have that knee drive, that knee going forward, that could be due to a few things. It could be, again, due to an ankle mobility issue. So you struggle to get the range of motion dorsiflex in your ankles. It could also be a weight placement issue and a rib cage, and a rib cage position issue. So if your rib cage is up here from that weight placement, your, your hips are now behind you. You have no option but to go back. And that's fine if you're chasing real, real, real big lifts if you're a power lifter, but most of us not and want to do it for healthy reasons. So we like to keep our hips underneath us and actually load up the muscles effectively without using a, comp a compressive strategy like loading up your lower back. So how we can do that is we can elevate our heels again with a heel lift. And that allows us then to get our hips underneath us. It takes away that ankle mobility issue and you can now sit down into that squat. And also we can then put a weight out in front of us now. We reach long for those elbows so that back is open. And now your abs are engaged, your hips are now underneath you again and you can sit down into that squat.